and welcome to Overdrive. I'm Shireen Pan. Now, since Volkswagen entered India, it's been making some pretty steady progress. 2010 saw the launches of the new Polo and the Vento, and the company is kick-starting 2011 with the launch of the new Passat. Bert goes down to Goa to get you this first drive report. In 2006, Volkswagen entered the Indian car market, offering the Passat. It was a fairly accomplished set-in globally, and in India, it offered the right mix of space, comfort and luxury. Four years on, the Passat has evolved considerably, yet it retains a lot of its traditional characteristics, but it incorporates and infuses a lot of cutting-edge technology and Volkswagen's smashing new design language. <laughs> And the focus of the new design language is mostly at the front, which looks sharper and smarter than before. The wide chrome grille flanked by the slim projector headlamps with a jewel-like LED cluster give it an air of sporty elegance. The nose is further accentuated by the bumper, which otherwise would look pretty large and ungainly if it were not for the slim air dam and those wide driving lamps. What makes this profile even more interesting is all the chrome lavished liberally, complemented by the crystal clear glass areas that sparkle and shine. Close inspection, however, will reveal that several aggregates haven't changed, such as the hood or the side profiles, which still retain the same lines as the last generation car. Yet, the details that have changed give the Passat an overall perspective of being an entirely new car. Clever design this. If you've owned or at least sat and felt the interiors of the last generation Passat, you'll realize that this, the new Passat, doesn't feel very different from that last generation car. You'll realize that the clocks are just as big, those huge numbers etched on those dials. The center console, well, it's the same design. Even the key fob sits in the same place where it used to. However, there are several new changes as well. And these, well, I appreciate them quite a bit. Especially this new audio system, which comes with aux connectivity, which comes with MP3 connectivity, and which you can connect your iPhone to. I like the generous amounts of chrome and aluminium that's all over this cabin. I also like the wood inserts and well, of course, like most luxury cars of this decade, there's also a clock on the dashboard. As of now, the Passat is only available with a 2-litre direct injection turbo diesel engine. The turbo petrol will get here too, eventually. But for now, let's focus on the oil burner. Power has increased to 170 PS and torque is now 350 newton meters. But what hasn't changed is the way this engine behaves and feels. Now I've driven the Passat for a long time, roughly around 8 months as a long termer. That was the last generation Passat. And well, the one grouse that I had with that car was that the engine and the transmission always felt like it was doing a task. It wasn't driving comfortably, not easily. It always felt laborious. And well, that same sensation is there in this, in the new Passat as well. It doesn't feel free, it doesn't feel energetic, it doesn't feel luxurious, relaxed at doing what it's doing. In fact, it feels strained at times. You can hear the engine, you can hear the gearbox. And well, that's something that I thought would have vanished in the new car. Unfortunately, it hasn't. But turn the blender to full speed and what you get is a remarkably sprightly car. The engine responds cheerfully and the low RPM dullness is replaced with a linear and highly progressive power curve. You could almost sense it wanting to growl. Grr, why am I a diesel? What makes the new Passat particularly interesting to drive is the 6-speed DSG gearbox with paddle shifts, which are quite useful in day-to-day -day city traffic and quite a revelation when you get excited and release the boy within you. But if you've seen the media blitz surrounding this car's launch, the buzzword is blue. Blue Motion is a package that incorporates several technologies, such as the start-stop system, which works in this manner. You drive up to a traffic light, halt, and it goes red. And well, the engine cuts itself off, just dies out on you. And then, to kick-start it back to life, all you have to do is step on the accelerator pedal, and that will get you moving. 
It also includes an optimized gear ratio, DSG and manual gearbox. Both of these ratios and both these gearboxes are longer and therefore they allow early upshift and delayed downshift. This increases the energy efficiency of the engine. You also get brake energy recuperation. Now what this basically does is converts the heat and sound energy to a small extent and recovers that energy to recharge your batteries. Well, you also get a gear shift indicator on your instrument console, which indicates the right time to shift up or to shift down. All that technology is, of course, working away in the background. What you will notice and want to know more about is the ride and handling. The dynamics are concerned, well, the Passat isn't a car you'd go hunting for corners in. It's a fairly accomplished car. At speed, on the highways, this is a very stable, very well-planted car. But you just wouldn't expect too much of it when it comes to attacking corners. At low speeds, you can feel some body roll. But fire up the turbo and push the car harder. And the Passat immediately feels taut and confidently poised to hurl itself around bends. The steering is precise and has a nice feel to it. As speeds rise, the steering feels more confident of placing the car precisely where you want it to be. But what the Passat does best is offer a very plush ride quality. What this car does phenomenally well is offers a plush ride quality. It could very easily be the benchmark in the segment for ride comfort and quality. Perhaps even better than the Superb. But well, that comparison we leave for another day. It's clear to see that the Passat has matured from a slightly overweight fat cat mobile to a sleeker and more energetic form both visually and dynamically. The traditional aggregates are still intact so you can still enjoy being driven around but if the mood takes you you'd equally enjoy driving the Passat yourself and that's the biggest change. Forget the fact that this car is very nicely priced starting off at just 20 lakhs ex Delhi and that there's a whole lot of equipment that simply can't be matched by the competition. All that is passe, because this is by far one of the most deceptive cars in the market. It has the best of both worlds, in either the rear or the driver's seat. Take your pick.